Pour water into a water bath and set the temperature to 40 degrees Celsius. Measure 100 cubic centimeters of distilled water using a graduated cylinder. Make sure to read the bottom of the meniscus. Label a glass beaker. That will be used for the 15% yeast solution. Pour 15 grams of instant dry yeast into the glass beaker. Add the measured water to the beaker. Gently stir the mixture with a glass stirring rod. Put the beaker into the water bath. Set the timer for 30 minutes. Make sure to stir it for the first 5 minutes so that the yeast stays well mixed. Label the clear plastic cups that will be used for the 6 different sucrose concentrations. 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15 percent. Calculate the grams of solute, in this case sucrose, that will be added to the 20 cubic centimeters of water. For example, if we were making a 3 percent sucrose solution in 20 cubic centimeters, we would think 3 grams of sucrose in a total volume of 100 cubic centimeters. Therefore, in this case, we would only need 0.6 grams of sucrose in a total volume of 20 cubic centimeters. Place a balance on a flat surface in order to measure the sucrose accurately. Switch it on, wait until it shows zeros on the digital screen, and press the tear key. Put the weighing paper on the balance and press the tear key again to deduct the weight of the weighing paper. Use a spatula to add the sucrose to the balance. Remove your hands and wait for the final mass to appear. Pour the sucrose into the labeled cup. Pour less than 20 cubic centimeters of water into a graduated cylinder. Gently swirl until the solute gets completely dissolved. Pour the mixture back into the cylinder and add water until the bottom of the meniscus reaches 20 cubic centimeters. Use a pipette if you need to. Pour the solution back to the labeled cup. Using a graduated cylinder, measure 15 cubic centimeters of sucrose solution. Using a graduated cylinder, measure 15 cubic centimeters of distilled water. Pour both liquids into a newly labeled cup for a total volume of 30 cubic centimeters. Repeat this for making all six percentage concentrations. Note that we are eventually making a total volume of 45 cubic centimeters, including equal amounts of water, sucrose solution, and yeast. When 30 minutes has passed, take out the beaker of yeast. Using a graduated cylinder, measure 15 cubic centimeters of yeast. Pour the yeast into the six cups of distilled water and sucrose solution and quickly swirl it. As quickly as possible, pour the final mixture into all fermentation tubes. Start with adding a small amount of solution to the fermentation tube. Make sure to tip the tube back and get rid of any possible air bubbles. Add the rest of the mixture, constantly keeping the tube tilted as to remove air bubbles. When all the liquid is added, place the tube in the upright position on the table. Start the stopwatch and measure the volume at regular intervals. At room temperature, the rate will be slow, so every five minutes is acceptable. It is recommended you try doing this in a water bath of 40 degrees to speed up the reaction.